Hey everyone, this is Be Divine and welcome. I hope that you're awesome. We're going to get some spirit animal messages first today and then we're going to move into some tarot. So stick around, let's see what we're being guided with today or who. Oh wow, here we go. The owl magic. Choose to know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthrights. And I don't know if you've been watching my videos, but we've been getting the owl come out quite a bit. We really need to pay attention to what our inner self is telling us. One of the biggest things with uh, many, many people who are beginning the journey of opening themselves up more completely spiritually is they doubt themselves all of the time. And that's where mistakes come into our life or so-called mistakes. But when we don't trust our first thoughts on something and then we keep mulling it over, we end up getting you know, all kinds of negativity coming in. And inner doubts and worries and start spiraling and there's all kinds of problems. The other energy with the owl for many of you is that you may be recurring or having recurring dreams. And they might be, you might be having a sore, an energy through your spine. You might be feeling really more tired than usual. Uh, recently there's a lot of changes happening vibrationally and on the earth itself. So we are shifting and we're shifting quite quickly. So we've really got to follow in this guidance now and look for the signs that are around us. Oh, this one wants to come out. Squirrels, always prepared. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off of course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all that you need. Now also with the squirrel energy, it's resourcefulness and it's also a breakthrough. Okay, so when you're just about ready to give up, okay, and you're doubting things, your mind is going to just make you just turn away from things that are actually really good for you as well. And sometimes the most difficult step is the first one, right? And once we've done it, we've broken through, we're okay. We're like, what the hell was I worried about so badly? So there may be something challenging that's coming up here, all right? And you may be getting um, like a sensation of, you know, having to have a confrontation perhaps or maybe communicating with somebody and you don't really want to, okay? Just understand that your spiritual team are always with you. So if you ask them to make it a very, very peaceful and easy exchange, okay, something that's understood, you're going to fare a lot better than if you go in there with a whole lot of worry or you just don't say anything at all and you're back at square one. Okay, so we have the birds in this picture here as well, and the birds are always uh, news as well, information, messages coming in. You know, you're, something is just tapping at you like, come on, come on, you can do it, all right? Okay, so now we have the Nefertari tarot here. So let's get some messages or further messages. So we have messages coming, don't we? Okay. The intuition is telling you everything. See, your intuition is telling you everything. This is the high priestess. Okay. The one thing about the high priestess as well is that this is the healer. So, you know, you're healing the healer here. Do my free course start my semester on teaching yourself the proper ways to heal because Reiki, I'm sorry for Reiki people, I'm a Reiki master, I've got thousands of Reiki courses under my belt and I'm going to be giving those, and teaching those, whatever. Reiki is not enough. Reiki works as a final icing on the cake but you have to learn some deeper methods of healing because people are, are just not wanting that little fluff anymore the healing is here for you as well 
okay? Understand that you have the power to change absolutely anything in your life. And what you have to do is set an intention without trying to control an outcome or anybody else. So people say, oh, I tried, done work. That's because you're trying to control perhaps somebody else's life. You can't make someone love you. You know, you can't bring someone or draw someone to you because that will have dire consequences. You have to change the way. We all have to change the way that we're looking at people who do this kind of work. You know, we, you know I've personally am tired of the people giving you the wrong information. And that information of exes coming back and what are people thinking and is he cheating or is she cheating on me or what do they really think and all that, that is just low vibe stuff. It is low, low, low and it is not part of anybody's uh, soul contract to delve into somebody else's energy without their permission, okay? Justice, yeah, so... There are major things occurring in your life. Don't waste your time on these frivolous little things. Listen to what you know to be true in your heart. Okay? Let karma take care of the negative. Let karma take care of those people. Don't try to get uh, revenge on anybody or anything like that. It's not worth it. And don't hold anger in your heart expecting the other person to get hurt. It's not going to happen. When you feel, when you've been betrayed and you've been hurt and you've been ripped off and you've been beaten and you've been abused and it's been unfair, it's natural to feel hate and anger in your heart, right? But that only damages you further. It's time to dissolve a lot of energy around us now, getting ourselves ready for the next phase of our life. See? We're having a truce. We're having a, a peaceful transition now. Now, some of you may be feeling back pain. You may be feeling um, or having sleeplessness. I've been getting up like super early. There is a shift happening on the planet um, in multiple ways. Okay, it's working. What we are doing with raising the vibration is working. So we're just going to have to work through those uh, little bumps in the road as we adjust as well but what you're really looking for is coming so be careful of and I do tarot tips and I try to teach you these things the the younger generation that are coming in don't know the spiritual etiquette they're just trying to get views clicks and likes you know and it's not gonna it, a strong foundation will always last but something that's built on a false one will eventually fall so a lot of this you're going to find is going to fall away. Now in your life, you need to listen. Your intuition is screaming at you, okay? Yep, you've been hurt, you've been betrayed. Everybody has in one way or another. But it's time for you to understand your worth, right? To shift past any pain, to shift past all of these stresses and to understand that you're not being punished by God, okay? We punish ourselves enough. People punish each other. But people are also in your life as agitators on purpose to see if you're going to continue a pattern of, of reaction that you've always done or are you going to change it? Are you going to surprise everybody? Does it really matter what everybody else thinks? I'm also feeling that you really just need to honour your grief. Okay, Don't push grief away. It has, it has the ability to just come up and bite you when you least expect it. So allow yourself to feel, okay? Allow yourself those things as part of your release and part of your growth. Understand, boy, got a lot of messages. Here we go. A lot of people, oh my God, right? A lot of people, a lot of messages, a lot of situations that are rapidly changing, all right? The old phase is dying out try your best not to be carrying everything anymore be careful of what you're listening to out there on the internet make sure that you're placing yourself in supreme protection in the right way okay and then you just take one day at a time okay sending you so many blessings